Scott Holowinski here, and I'm, I'm going to actually walk through probably the most common thing that we see here at Gilware. If you hop onto the internet and you have a hard drive failure, the most common thing people say to do to try and get your drive operating once again is to put the drive into the freezer. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there's a lot of people who say to do it, and it can be extremely detrimental from a recovery standpoint and actually render your hard drive completely unrecoverable. So. I'm going to take the drive out. I've had this drive freezing in here all morning and uh, we're going to take this out and actually take it over uh, to our clean flow bench and open it up and show why putting a hard drive into a freezer is such a bad idea. So why is putting a hard drive into the freezer such a bad idea? And the best analogy I can give is uh, a warm summer day taking a glass of ice water out into uh, the outdoors where it's hot and humid and it starts to sweat. Well the same thing happens in a hard drive. As soon as you take it out of the freezer and you can see we've had this out of the freezer for literally just a couple uh, minutes maybe not even that long the drive has already started to sweat as it comes back up to room temperature. What that means is inside the drive the exact same thing is happening. Water is condensing onto the very delicate platter surfaces. Uh, as you spin this up, the heads actually will drag through uh, that water and can actually do significant damage to the actual platter surface. So I'm here in uh, one of our uh, ISO 5 certified class 100 clean flow benches and I'm going to pop open this drive and most likely what we're going to see is that water has probably already started to condense on the inside uh, of the platter. And you can see that there's already a lot of water uh, forming on this, this drive. So as you can see on the platter surface here, you can see condensation already starting to form. And what that means is uh, when we power this drive back up, uh, if we power this drive back up, these heads right here, which fly very, very close to the platter surface, nanometers off of the surface, are going to actually drag through uh, the water that's condensed onto the platter surface and actually score up the very delicate magnetic material that's on this hard drive. What I'm going to do now is actually put the cover back on the drive and run this drive in this condition so that we can show you uh, what happens. So I'm just going to briefly power this drive up and uh, shut it back down, take the cover back off, and we'll actually be able to see most likely some rings that formed on that platter surface as those heads drag through the water. Just got done running uh, power to this hard drive, just briefly, literally a couple seconds. And as you can see, uh, all of the rings that have formed as those heads dragged through uh, the actual uh, con condensed water on the platter surface, uh, you can see those uh, going all the way around the drive. The moral of the story is, as tempting as it might be to put your hard drive uh, into a freezer in hopes of getting your data back, uh, it's just not a good idea and it can actually make it completely unrecoverable. If somebody had chosen to run this drive uh, in this condition for any extended period of time, it would have completely destroyed the platter surface and whether you sent it to Grillware or one of our competitors, there's nothing that anybody could do.